Brett Wildman misses the first serve of set two by a mile. It's a decent serve by Andrew Rowan, but it's right to Ryan Merck, so he passes it perfectly. Owen Wilson gets the kill, and the only thing I have to say on this play is when the defender drops to a knee, he may be more balanced to pass the ball, but your reaction time and ability to move to the ball is completely crushed. So I never really like dropping to a knee. The jump serve is not well handled by Brett. It's gonna be a high set to Fisher. He has to attack the triple block and it lands out of bounds. Not everyone's gonna notice this, but you can see Brett Wildman goes diving after this ball just to make sure that it's landing out of bounds. That's good hustle and exactly what you want in a player. It's two to two. All right, that ball was not passed well. UCLA tips, it's blocked. UCLA covers. Blocked again, but it's a tool. Point UCLA. Let's replay. Great jump serve by Cal Fisher. Troy Gooch, one passes. The only option is the outside, Alex Knight. The low set is tipped into the block, and UCLA gets another attempt. This time, it's Ido on the right side, and he scores his fifth kill of the match by tooling Michael Cole. That was fortunate for Ido David, as Cole's block was well set. Next point is a hybrid jump serve that Michael Cole passes perfectly. He gets the set right back and scores 3-3. Three to three. Penn State's 31 go gets the UCLA middle J.R. Norris to jump. Michael gets a one-on-one -on -one against Ido, which he takes advantage of. He blasts the ball cross court, which is too much for Ethan to handle. Alex Knight steps in and dimes this pass. J.R. Norris over approaches and has to reach way back to hit this ball. His size and athleticism helps him out on this play and he still manages to hit a very great sharp angle. Ido David jump serves and Ryan Merck gobbles it up. Quick one ball to Eziono who hits over the block but he's barely dug by Ethan Champlin. The ball is freed back over. The 30 set to Koal is low and he has to tip. Champlin gets a swing out of the back row but he misses this one long. It kind of looks like he's not hitting the ball in the middle, and that would kind of explain the English we saw earlier. The only other point I want to make happens earlier in the point. J.R. Norris doesn't block the middle. He leaves his teammate Alex Knight alone to block the middle, the setter dump, and Cal's D-ball on the right back. So it's 4-4. Four four. Toby Eziono serves the sideline, which is a harder pass than passing the seam, for instance. They're going to have to give a roll shot on this ball. Penn State is in system, and they set the one ball. Alex Knight swings for the Bruins, and that ball is a foot out of bounds, but it hits the Penn State block, point UCLA. This is an off-speed jump serve, tricky play by Alex Knight. It's not passed well, so outside Brett is going to have a triple block. He attacks the fingertips. Alex Knight makes a diving save, and it's coming back for UCLA. Impressively, they still manage to get a swing. Penn State mishandles and gives up a free ball. There's a joust at the net, and Andrew Rowan goes for the wipe off Penn State's block, and it works. It's 4-6, to six, Alex Knight serving again. This time, it's Wildman with a much better pass, and the back set to Cal Fisher results in a block for UCLA. Ethan Champlin gets the roof. Then on the next point, we have an ace for UCLA. It looks like a miscommunication between Ryan Merck and Michael Cole. 4-8, to eight, UCLA off to a great start in set two. There are two types of jump serves, high toss jump serves where the hitter has time to look at the ball and adjust to the toss, and then there are low toss jump serves. The toss is lower and it requires a little rhythm to time your steps with your toss. If the ceiling is low, you're kind of stuck with a low toss if you want to jump serve, but I have always preferred the high toss if I can. Early in set one, we talked about reversing flow when the setter ran forward but back set the ball to the right side. Here we have another reverse flow play where the setter is running backwards but sets the ball forward. It's a little easier for the middle to read and JR is up on the double block. But when you slow it down, he's not blocking his own space. He's drifting into his right side and the arms are actually blocking the same exact space. Brett Wildman tools JR's right hand that's reaching right in front of his 
right side's hand. So here's what I suggest. Middles, talk to your pin blockers. They will reach back in to help you close if you promise not to jump on them. That's a great deal for them. Trust me. We have a miss serve for Cole Bogner for Penn State and then a miss serve for JR for UCLA. Brett Wildman gets three passed by Troy Gooch. Owen Rose gets a hand on the soft block. Alex Knight passes and gets the set. Gotta hustle for that. His tip is blocked and covered up by Rose. Knight swings and scores out of the outside for Penn State. I always think the UCLA middles look jammed up on their swings. I think they are jumping from too tight to the net. Middles, if your setter is off the net, you gotta jump from further off the net so that your setter has space to put that ball in front of you. We have seven to nine and a sick point coming up. Rowan reverses flow to Ido, who tapes the D ball. Bogner gets to set the outside to Kowal, who drills the deep line angle shot, a very deadly location. Looking at that again, taping the D ball is a huge favor for Ryan Merck, who gets an easy dig on Ido. Everything about Michael Cole's body language is saying angle. He's jumping towards the angle, he's facing the angle, but then he cuts it line at the last second and finds the corner. It's 8-9 UCLA by 1. Ethan Champlin passes this ball 20 feet off the net and gets the set. Roll tip is down for the kill. The roll tip is pretty tricky to defend because you're disguising the tip as a swing, but Champlin drops the left arm weirdly, and that's a clue he's tipping, so it wasn't that well disguised, but it catches Koal on his heels and he's not ready to pick up the tip. Owen Rose's jump serve tapes. It's passed by Merrick, and that's a much better swing by Merrick McHenry. We gotta take a look at the difference between his last swing and this one. The difference is his first swing this was the extent of his crunch. He could barely crunch because the ball was not in front of him. Then this time he's able to put some power on the ball because he's swinging at a ball he can actually crunch on. UCLA is up two and this is another sick play as Bogner launches the nine ball back to Cal. Cal had a single block and a ton of line shots to work with. When the offense is that fast, it's hard to get stops on a perfect pass. All right, we are skipping one point that goes to UCLA because it was kind of sloppy. So Penn State does a really good job of taking aggressive swings that are hard to control and making you give them back easy balls. They trust that they will eventually score given enough great swings. Michael Cole jump serves to Ethan Champlin who one passes. Knight will have a triple block up. Slowed down and dug by the Lions. Back set to Cal on the D-ball. Knight gets a touch and Rowan digs. It's a high ball to Ito and he gets a sharp, sharp angle kill. I want to go ahead and thank the viewer who corrected me on the pronunciation of Ito. I think I was saying Ido. Uh, someone else was saying it's Sani, not Sani. Um, so I want to thank the viewers and I, I just appreciate the help with the foreign names. That's a miss serve and I want to pull the highlight out of that previous point. This is a great location. It is very frequent that the defense will leave the deep corner shots alone because they think it's out of bounds. Eziono is three passed and on the one ball J.R. Norris gets his fourth kill of the match but he's falling backwards on his swing too. With some technique improvements the UCLA middles could be a lot better. Alex Knight with another awkward looking low toss jump serve. Koo gets the three pass. JR's block touch helps Troy get the dig. It's a two on one on the right side, but Koo digs and overpasses. Rowan reverses flow again to Grant Sloan who tips and gets the kill. Ah, uh, that serve looks awkward. Koo two passes. Cal's D-ball is touched by the block and dug by Alex Knight. UCLA goes right to Sloan. He gets blocked. They go left to Ethan, and Ethan scores by swinging through the block. When you slow it down, Sam Marsh's hands are very undisciplined, diving out to fill the seam, but he's a big target like this. UCLA extends their lead in set 2-5. to five. On this play, I really like UCLA's blocking effort. 
to get one, the triple block, and then two for J.R. Norris to get his hands up after tripping over his teammate Ethan Champlin. The ultimate takeaway, though, is if you give Penn State a free ball, they are likely to make you pay for it. On this next point, Bogner served tapes and is two passed. Nine ball to Grant, Sloan gets the fingertip tool. He's done well this set. UCLA is looking like they're going to tie up this match. Easy float by Guy, and it gives Michael trouble. Cal's going to have to swing at a tough one, and he is roofed by Grant Sloan. We're skipping a missed serve, and on the next play, Brett Wildman gets an ace to bring Penn State within four points. Brett Wildman is back to serve again, and he gets the overpass off Knight. Vepi gets an opportunity out of the middle that's blocked back, and another on the outside, but Michael sails it deep out of bounds. UCLA back firmly in control of this set. It's 20-15, to 15 and Rowan's back to serve. Decent pass, but the setter connection is off. Michael keeps the ball in play with a left-handed swing, and it's played up by Ethan. Ito gets a kill on the right side, and the Bruins are happy to have him back in the match. When Ethan's coming all the way in to pass this ball, it is not an ideal time to set him on the outside. Rowan's decision to go back to Ito is worth a point for the Bruins. Six-point lead UCLA, and it's a great pass. Sam Marsh gets set, and Sam's shut down by McHenry. Merrick McHenry dove left to get that block. Well played by him. UCLA now leads 22-15. This is a great serve. Ryan two passes and Cal roll tips the ball for a point. At the highest levels, the off blocker has the tip responsibility. The thing about that though is the tip area is actually a lot of space to cover and a wide variety of shots land in those spots. So Penn State scored and Sam goes back to serve. On the next point, we have an easier jump serve by Sam. Alex Knight very casually and with bent arms gets a two pass and then Champlin gets stuffed on the right side. Sam serves more aggressively and it's a two pass again. Ito finds the tiniest seam in the block and swings straight through it. Great jump serve towards the left corner, but Merck brings it back and Penn State is still able to force the middle. What a play, you gotta give Bogner some credit for the set on that one. He left that ball right on Iziono's right shoulder. Cal's jump serving with a little right to left hook. Ethan two passes and Andrew Rowan reverses flow to Ito, who is dug beautifully by Cal. Penn State in system and Wildman swings into the tape. This really was an amazing dig for Cal Fisher. His arms weren't even together, but his platforms were facing up and his reaction time was quick. UCLA has their first set point of the match. 24-18. Merrick McHenry float serves the sideline and gets the overpass on Michael Cole. Ethan Champlin puts the big on the sideline well outside Penn State's back row defense. What a great shot to end set two. UCLA 25, Penn State 18. If you want to support the channel, I'd really appreciate a subscription if you just press the subscribe button below. I hope you guys have a great day.